This is Kessel from Creation Kessel. In this video, we will look at how to create masks around a photo to be used later. And we will be using a script called Photo Masks. In order to start this script, you just open the first image you want to use. And in the script toolbar, you find the Photo Mask script and you run it. The script will work on a copy of your image and will create a random edge around it. If you like the border that you have, you simply click yes to the question if you want to keep this border. If you didn't like it, you can click no and the script will generate a second one. Now you have the option to save the mask that was used to create this effect. If you like it, maybe you will want to use it with another image. In this case, you click yes, and the script will generate that mask for you. You can now save that mask, if you want, in a JPEG format and reopen it later. For example, if I want to reuse this mask on a different picture, I can do so very easily. So with my image active, I can go to Layers, New Mask Layer from Image, and I will choose here image number 2, and I click OK, and it will apply this mask to this photo. It's very easy, and if you have a unique mask, it could be interesting to use later. Now this script has also the option to create a mask in different shape. For example, if I use this same image, instead of getting a rectangular shape for my mask, I can choose to have a circle image or an ellipse. So, I can do it with a selection or I could use a preset shape. So if I'm using a selection, I just have to create the selection in the shape I want and run the script again. Just like for the previous example, you can keep this border or not. In this case, as you can see, it does not give a very good result, at least for this photo, so I will click No to generate another one. This one is more suitable, so I click Yes, and I will want to keep that mask also as a separate image and I have it again that I can save as a JPEG to reuse later. Now let's see how we can create also a mask using the vector shape. So we can use a preset shape and maybe find a heart shape and create this heart using the preset shape. Let's run the script again. And voila! I have another mask in the shape that I started with. And again, I can create a copy of this mask to use later. And now it's your turn to use this script and create your own masks with PaintShop Pro. Enjoy!